Hey everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Friday reading. So what I wanted to do was to go ahead and get Masculine's seven most significant messages to his divine feminine. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the bottom of the deck. We have the recognition card. This Masculine is recognizing something. What is he recognizing? the soul connection, six of cups. He's recognizing the soul connection and how he has devastated it or destroyed it. And that now he needs to come forward with his heart, with his affection and with his energy of bringing in forgiveness. So it really feels to me that Divine Masculine has had some sort of epiphany. You know, when you get the Tower card, it's like sudden, shocking, um, you know, like all of a sudden revelation, right? It's just like it comes at you and it's just like kind of leaves you with your jaw open, right? And so he's in this energy where he's been jarred. He's been in this energy where he's like, oh my gosh, you know, I have destroyed this soul connection. And I feel like, you know, with the Six of Cups also, that is a card of nostalgia. There, That is absolutely an energy of him recollecting his actions his energy from the past, the situation of the past, you know, whatever it was that, um, you know, ended your connection this last time, I do feel like he is going through his, you know, memory bank and he's really looking at what happened, you know, why did it happen? And he is holding himself, um, you know, accountable and to blame for the, you know, devastation or the end of this connection um, at, for, that, for what happened at that time. And he knows that he's the one who needs to come forward um, as a person who is emotionally matured and heart-centered and come in and ask for forgiveness. I believe that we got that energy in, um, you know, the eclipse reading that I did. Like, what what is going to happen with masculine? I really felt like you know, it was that time where he was going to, you know, look at himself, review his actions and understand it is time to say, I'm sorry. It is time to apologize. Right. And so whether you're a feminine watching this or, you know, the counterpart watching this as related to the masculine, you know, it's completely up to you whether or not you want to accept the apology or not. But certainly this is what masculine is feeling. He's recognizing the connection. He's recognizing how he's devastated the connection and potentially ended the connection. And it is time for him to come forward and ask for forgiveness. First message that we're getting from divine masculine is he's contemplating. He's really sitting and he's thinking about what he's done. He wants to move forward in mastery and then we have the queen of fire here but it's leo and it's the strength card also so i really do feel like this is an energy versus um you know a person i do feel like divine masculine is very much contemplating how to move forward in mastery and strength how to create you know um this opportunity for reconciliation with his divine feminine he's gone through that dark night of the soul potentially happened during the solar eclipse or you know shortly you know before or after it just absolutely feels like divine masculine especially with that tower card at the bottom of the deck has experienced some grief has experienced this dark night of the soul energy and it has to do with his wishes and how he was very careless how he was a player around what he wanted and now he knows he's got to communicate he's got to send a message he's got to move full full speed ahead so i do feel like divine masculine is really seeing his player ways really understanding that the devastation the ending the separation occurred because of his in and out behavior because of his carelessness and recklessness he has this understanding now that these little f boy offers his immature childish offers are not going to be acceptable that he needs to become the emperor and that he needs to be able to come forward to his divine feminine at the perfect, at the right time, right? He needs to be able to be unstoppable. He needs to be in his power. He can't be this immature page. 
There's this energy of deception. Again, lots of contemplation, lots of understanding, lots of sudden epiphanies happening. There is this de deception energy. Hanged man and the star card. He knows that he needs to come forward and cleanse this deception you know, really align with himself. He is in this energy where again, hanged man is all about this epiphany enlightenment. He is aware. He is awake to the fact that he has self-sabotaged and deceived himself and that there's this energy of cleansing and reconciliation and hope and faith that he needs to um, you know, first he, he can't have until he addresses the deception. And so right now he's in this Wolverine energy. He's like determined to do it, but he's also a bit elusive because he's going through his own internal power struggle about not only dealing with his own deception, but having to be accountable for that deception to divine feminine. So he may is, may already have addressed it with himself. We're seeing that with the understanding and the dark night of the soul and contemplation. But as far as this forgiveness and coming forward and being accountable towards feminine, that hasn't necessarily happened yet. And so there's this energy of signs. He is getting signs that he needs to move forward in love, but there is so much stress, so much anxiety, so much fear that he is going through right now about coming forward towards divine feminine that he's kind of in this like mutable energy meaning some days he's like yeah okay i see the signs i know what i need to do and other days he's like oh hell no i'm not going to do that i'm definitely not going to do that i too much anxiety it's just not worth it i know what i did she probably can't stand me anyway and so he's seeing these signs and there he knows that he needs to move forward he needs he needs to address things but this energy of this Wolverine, it's like sometimes he's aligned with it and sometimes he's not. But bottom line is he is absolutely regretful. There is this abundance, this long-term connection, this energy that he has walked away from with his divine feminine. Look at the woman card. He knows he regrets walking away from you. He regrets walking away from his abundance. He regrets building a life with you. And so at this time, he is in observation mode, observing himself, observing what he needs to do, observing his signs or the signs. And there's this energy of the sun and the three of swords. It's like he's observing that there could have been all of this joy, all of this happiness, but instead there was betrayal, there was sadness, there's heartache, and he knows King of Swords justice that he must come forward. He must come forward with the scales of balance and restore harmony in this connection with his divine feminine. And that means that he must come forward in truth and integrity and in power with his words, with actions, with his strength, address the deception, share his regret, and reconcile this connection like a like a grown person like an en enlightened aligned person okay so it very much oh by the way if you guys want to book your own personal reading coaching session or healing session go to queen of light 1111.com and don't forget i'm running the special on the soul circle through this month if you join as a vip member you get a free one question reading from me so back to this reading it just feels like there's been a ton of contemplation He's gone through his shadows. He's dealt with his shadows. He's come to some sort of understanding. He is aware of his own deception. The universe is sending him signs that he's got to come forward and, you know, see both sides of the situation and address his deception. But he knows, he absolutely knows that the biggest regret he has is walking away from his feminine. So he's observing, he's observing his heartache, he's observing his betrayal, and he knows he's got to come forward and restore harmony. Because he recognizes that this divine feminine is his love, is the abundance. She's the jackpot. You can't get any better than the feminine. You can't. And I'm not sitting here, you know, taking sides or anything, but this is the reading. You cannot, you cannot, if you are in alignment, you are going to choose the highest vibrational love. And that highest vibrational love is this divine feminine. Okay. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, 
Go to queenoflight1111.com. Have a happy, happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you back here next week. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.